Well, today marks the two-year anniversary of Jeannie Quinn's death. She's the 20-year-old level and woman who went missing on April 15, 2018, and her body was found two days later in Abilene. Gay Max Kelsey Bittman has been following this since her body was found and has the latest developments in the case. On April 15, 2018, Jeannie Quinn's family reported her missing, knowing she left town with her boyfriend. On April 17th, they received the devastating news that her body was found in Abilene. Now, two years later, with still no answers, the family is seeking justice for Jeannie. She was a uh, very innocent, young, I mean, she was 20, but acted like she was, she was just like a baby. She had that goofy laugh, and these are the things that yeah, we remember. Hockley County Sheriff Ray Cypher says she left Levelin on a road trip. She was supposed to have made a trip with Mr. Henderson and uh, did not return from that trip and family got concerned. Uh, so we opened an investigation into the to her try to find her her whereabouts. Two days later, her body was found in Abilene. We were worried before it happened. We were worried that this would happen and sure enough it happened. According to the autopsy report, her body was staged and it was ruled a homicide. So far, no arrests have been made in her case. But the only person of interest, Ricky Don Henderson, is now in prison at TDCJ on unrelated charges. He is in the bird unit <laughs> currently. Um, and that's in Huntsville, so we know where he's at, and he's going to be there for a while. Her uncle, John Quinn, says he's hoping Henderson will start talking about what happened, speaking to him a couple times at the jail, even writing letters. I asked him to, you know, would he confess and, you know, what's going to take, and he's just denying it, denying it. And uh, I asked him, you know, well, if it wasn't you, then who, you know, who would it be? Visiting with Henderson a total of four times. We cut ties on our relationship. Uh, because the last visit that I was there, uh, I hit a couple of nerves and he didn't like it. While Henderson is serving at least 15 years for those unrelated charges, Quinn's family still wants justice for Jeannie. If he never gets out again, I'm still, we're still not satisfied because he's, he's still not answering for that crime as he didn't answer for other ones as well. If you have any information that can help solve this case, please call the Abilene Police Department. That number is on your screen. The family is also offering an award of more than $12,000.